So, welcome to this project. In this video, we're building a real simple remote controlled siren with backup power using widely available parts you can get anywhere. It can be used as a wireless standalone alarm system, as a panic button, or as a wireless siren for an existing alarm system. To make this, we need the following parts one siren of your lights. I want to use this bigger 15 watts 120 decibel siren. The next we need is a power supply with at least 1.2 amperes and a lead acid battery, in case you want battery backup. If you use a 12 volt switch in power supply, you will need to get a 10 volt lead acid battery, so to have appropriate voltage to stay charged on standby. Use a 12 volt lead acid battery only if you have a regulated source of 13.8 volts. For the wireless part, you need to get a momentary remote controlled relay circuit. I suggest you to get a high security rolling code board, but a more basic one for as low as 3 bucks will do for demonstration. The last thing to get is an enclosure. And for that I've got a few gutted computer power supplies which are just perfect. For the wiring, first connect the power supply to the battery using a corresponding method. A diode in series to the battery must be put so the current won't flow back to the power supply. In this case it's not needed as there is already one to the output of the power supply I use. You should run two wires from the battery to the remote control circuit, but be very careful as reverse polarity will make the transistors explode. Now get and put two more wires, cut the red in half and put it in the middle contact of the relay. Put the other half to normally open contact so you get voltage by those two wires when you press the button on the remote control. This is where we will wire up the siren. If you decide to use a metal enclosure, don't forget to put an antenna. Putting it all inside makes our device look like this. It can be used as a remote panic button, or you can use it as a wireless door sensor for an improvised momentary alarm by soldering the button contacts to a read switch. This can also be used as a wireless siren for an existing alarm system by wiring the contacts of the button to a relay that will be put to a 12 volt siren output. Or solder the contacts and use it with a 5 volts regulator or voltage divider on a 12 volt siren output. That's all for today, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this project and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe.